Hey guys, today we're doing a video on Rhino. So, what is Rhino all about? Rhino is a tanky supporter frame. This means while he does have tanky uh, properties, he's mainly about supporting his team through CC and damage buffs. Getting Rhino, you will have to do the Jackal boss fight, which is located on Venus. And since Venus, you can access pretty quickly after the tutorial, you will have Rhino in your arsenal in no time. Um, getting Rhino Prime, you will have to get him through the Void Relics. At the time of this recording, um, Rhino Prime's relics are in the vault. However, you can still get them through the trade market from other players or getting lucky through relic shares. Uh, we'll go into his abilities, starting with his passive. His passive emits a shockwave doing 100 damage after landing from a great height. This really isn't the most useful passive just because in Warframe we move uh, more horizontally rather than vertically, so you won't have this passive activate a lot. But if you really want to build for it, Heavy Impact does stack with it. Uh, moving on to his first ability is Rhino Charge. So, Rhino Charge charges Rhino forward very quickly, knocking enemies in his path into the air. Um, you do have a nice range of 12 meters and going at 48 meters per second. Uh, while you are in the Rhino Charge, you are invulnerable to all damage, so you can use this as a get out of shit quick kind of deal. And I do have a mod for it called Ironclad Charge, which I will get to in the build. Uh, his second ability is Iron Skin. So Iron Skin is basically a free second health bar, and when you first activate, you will be immune to all damage for 3 seconds. Um, any damage that you would have taken within those 3 seconds will be absorbed into his shield. The shield's health is kind of scaled off its base health, multiplied by armor, strength, and damage absorbed. And while Iron Skin is activated, you will be immune to all status effects, so you can say goodbye to Toxin, Radiation, Slash, any of those, they're all gone. Uh, finally, Iron Skin does have a synergy with Rhino Charge, where if you have Iron Skin activated and you Rhino Charge, it will have a 100% chance to proc a Blast status effect. Uh, his third ability is Roar. So, Roar is Rhino's damage buff. He can give it to himself and to allies. Um, and the allies will need to be within 25 meters of him to receive this buff. And after that, they're able to go off anywhere and have this buff. It is duration based and it's a percentile damage increase. So this affects all your weapons and abilities, which is just great. Finally, we have Rhino Stomp. So Rhino Stomp, he stomps the ground suspending enemies into the air. They are slowed by 97.5% for eight seconds base duration. Uh, this does kind of have a synergy with Rhino Charge, where if you charge into enemies that are, are affected by Rhino Stomp, they will be they will receive 100% extra damage from Rhino Charge, but you're better off just shooting your gun or using your melee weapon. This is mainly for CC, keeping all the enemies in the air so they can't damage you or your allies. So that's Rhino's abilities, and we'll go into the build I've set up for him. So the build, I have Steel Charge in the Aura slot. This will make it so I have 60% extra melee damage with some extra mod capacity. I have Power Strength to transcend forward to intensify in Augur Secrets to build up more Power Strength to deal more damage, uh, more percentile increase for the damage buff, and higher health for Iron Skin. I have Steel Fiber to also increase the health for Iron Skin, Vitality just for more survivability, Streamline just to make everything a little bit cheaper, and Prime Continuity to make that buff last longer along with Rhino Stomp. And finally, I have Ironclad Charge. So, Ironclad Charge is an augment for Rhino Charge. Each enemy hit by Rhino Charge will increase Rhino's armor rating by 50% for 10 seconds. The percentile increase along with duration can be increased by power strength and power duration respectively. So that's my build and we will go into the test. The test is a level 100 test. This is pretty much stage 3 sortie. So this is pretty much as high as you'll usually go in Warframe. So we'll just start it, grab some energy. And the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to charge into as many enemies as possible. That way you get a max buff for Ironclad Charge. So that's not enough. Get a little bit more. Uh, activate Iron Skin and Roar in order to get more damage and just for more tankiness. So you can see I'm pretty much straining guys left and right. Uh, most of the cannon fodder here are getting one shot at, if not maybe one or two, like maybe three hits max. Heavy gunners, they go by three hits too. Just like that. And you can see Rhino Stump does have a pretty far range and it kind of goes through walls. So it's great CC and 
because it goes through walls, you don't have to worry about seeing the enemies to stomp them. And that is Rhino. So if this sounds like a frame that you want to play, you want to be that tanky but also supporty, Rhino is for you. My name has been Sunrisen, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night, and found this video helpful.